We begin this evening in the Middle East. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Iran will pay a price for its missile attacks on his country earlier today. Iran fired at least 180 missiles into Israel in retaliation for the recent and devastating blows against Hezbollah leadership in Lebanon. Many of the missiles appeared to be intercepted in midair. Israel says there were no casualties. The missile attacks were still terrifying and caused Israelis to find cover and quickly. Sirens went off in the whole country. Actually, we started getting the alerts and we're like, it must be a mistake. It was not a mistake. You were looking at video from a woman as her family was hiding in a bomb shelter during this attack. And it's a scary reality that's being felt a lot closer to home as well. Our Kara Peters spoke with a local rabbi who also had loved ones seeking shelter just one day before they celebrate their new year. Andy Curran, senior rabbi at Temple Emanuel in Greensboro, says thankfully his loved ones in Israel are safe following the missile attacks. As the Jewish community prepares for Rosh Hashanah in just a few hours, he's hoping the space is filled with love and peace. A still quiet peace outside Temple Emanuel in Greensboro following a heavy emotional day. Rabbi Andy Karen recounting the last conversations he had with his loved ones who were in Israel the moment more than 180 missiles flew over the country. In the course of the hour or so that this was taking place, I made a phone call to my best friend growing up. Uh, we're originally from the greater Miami area, and he lives in Israel now with his wife in the greater Jerusalem area, and the reception was terrible, and all he said to me was, bad reception, um, I'm in the bomb shelter, Iran is attacking now. Just told him I loved him. Loved ones, including Rabbi Karen's mother-in-law, seeking shelter as sirens went off. Others trying to find the closest means of safety. I did get a, uh, a phone call uh, from uh, someone who grew up in our area here, uh, who's been teaching in Israel, living in Israel, uh, someone that we care for in our community tremendously. And this was a time of, uh, of deep concern and panic uh, because in the building that this person lives, there is no bomb shelter and they were seeking refuge in a stairwell. The attacks come just one day before Rosh Hashanah and nearly a year since the beginning of the Israel-Hamas war. Rabbi Karen wearing a reminder of that dreaded day above his heart. As the Jewish community prepared to celebrate another new year, Rabbi Karen is hoping there is healing among the heartache. It's enough already. It's enough already. The attacks against Israel, the attacks against Jewish people have to stop. We'll be here with prayers of peace. We'll be here with prayers of comfort and for support. That's the way that we're going to beginning this, be beginning this new Jewish year. Rabbi Karen says there are a lot of questions following this latest attack. And while he's happy to hear from loved ones, he says the conflict is far from over. I'm Kara Peters reporting.